Riyadh Salahin. Chapter 155 Participation in Funeral Prayer and Procession and the Dislike of Women Participating in the Funeral Procession. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, whoever follows the funeral procession and offers the funeral prayer for it, will get a reward equal to one kirat, and whoever attends it till burial, will get a reward equal to two kirat. It was asked, what are two kirat? He, peace be upon him, replied, equal to two huge mountains. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Commentary, participation in a Muslim's funeral procession and prayer for him brings a Muslim a great reward, like the massiveness of a big mountain. And if he stays beside the grave till the burial takes place, the reward will become twofold, that is, equaling the massiveness of two huge mountains. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, whosoever attends the funeral of a Muslim believing and hoping for the reward from Allah and remains with it until the prayer is offered over it, and the burial is completed, he will return with a reward of two kirat, each kirat is equivalent to Mount Uhud, and whosoever offers his prayer over it and returns before its burial, he will come back with one kirat. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari. Commentary, this hadith explains that the only person who will earn the rewards for participating in the funeral prayer is the one who does it only to fulfill the commands of Allah in order to seek his pleasure. It will be denied to him in case his intention is based on social, political, and family considerations. Um may Allah be pleased with her, reported, we, women folk, were prohibited from accompanying a funeral procession, but we were not compelled, not to do so. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Commentary, women have been prohibited from walking along the beer so as to escape mixing with men. Yet, they have room for participation when there is no danger of mixing with men. Here, lack of a hardened stance means that women, if and when required, can walk side by side with the beer but not without meeting the prerequisites. The orthodox ulama, therefore, call this sharia restraint by the name of, suggestive prohibition. Fat al-Bari